Augmented and virtual reality experiences were only dreamed of just a generation ago. Like something out of a sci-fi movie that we'd probably never see come to life, today it's surprisingly becoming a mainstream form of entertainment. The experiences feel so real that users can get totally immersed in a world that's far different from reality. While some people are utilizing this innovation purely for fun, Vina Somaretti saw a more serious application for this revolutionary technology. More than 800,000 people just in the United States suffer from a stroke. Each year, 1.3 million are diagnosed with traumatic brain injuries, about 60,000 are diagnosed with spinal cord injuries, and so many thousands and thousands of people are diagnosed with neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and all of that mostly leading to long-term disability. My background has always been in creating uh, virtual reality applications for the medical field and for simulation and training. And when my co-founder Bruce Conti approached me about integrating VR into his clinics. I thought this was a really amazing opportunity for the patients and for the therapist too to create something that's more fun, exciting and motivating for the patients and a really good tool for the therapist to use. The high cost of physical therapy, coupled with the fact that insurance only covers a certain number of therapy sessions, makes the idea of using virtual reality for therapy very intriguing. Through various immersive 3D environments, the patient can work on their cognitive as well as physical therapy at the same time, instead of doing each in isolation. A lot of what we do as PTs is try to identify the biopsychosocial aspect of someone's life, really. When we're able to bring these people to this virtual world and fully immerse them in it, they can remove themselves from their actual reality to use their bodies normally as they normally would without impairment, regardless of what the impairment is, and to gaining function that they once had. It's a beautiful thing. They really get to remind themselves who they are, build confidence, break away from their routine day. It's a learning experience for all of us. We're kind of in real time adapting and readapting to certain things that they can or cannot do. If someone has trouble standing up, getting them immersed in a world that they can stand up in whatever apparatus we have them in outside of it. They are able to move better and you take things for granted when you have them, but for someone who really can't perform some of these things, that's the world. My injury occurred in December of 2016 and it was an accidental gunshot wound. At first I didn't have any movement whatsoever, like virtual reality has been a major difference in my in my progress. It's definitely more functional because you're in more of a real world environment and some of the games that they have like the retail therapy for example it's excellent because it's almost like you're in a grocery store and you're shopping for your own food and you're you know reaching up and grabbing different items off the shelf you know it's not like just tedious little tasks that get very mundane after a while it's a lot more functional you know the virtual reality kind of gives you the environment that you're actually in the grocery store. I think everybody knows that technology is permeating the medical field in some way or form and the VR hardware and software technology are at a point where it is really easy for us to create elaborate scenarios, anything that the therapist would want to work on with the patient. When it comes to therapists itself, when they see the benefits of VR, when they use it the first time, they're usually hooked to it. But at this point, it's so new and novel, we are still trying to educate the therapist. Here at the Neurological Recovery Center in Fort Worth, Texas, they're utilizing Vena's technological breakthrough on a wide range of patients with neurological impairments. Called Neural Rehab VR, these virtual reality therapy products show tremendous promise for physical therapy patients. We are creating educational content and instructional videos every day for therapists and for patients to how to integrate VR into their clinical practice and also collaborating with a lot of research institutions in the area to conduct clinical trials so that we can quantitatively show the benefits that the patients are reaping out of this. With Neuro Rehab VR, there's a plethora of applications that we can use to focus on functional reaching. We can focus on balance and trunk midline, as well as even working on trying to improve, like say, kicking strength which will then relate to not only stability with walking, but also the strength at which they can pick that knee up so we don't have any toe drag. So we've been able to see a patient reach functionally towards an area or, or so far away from their stable base of support that they would have been horrified to do without VR. We get to see that confidence built up and then we also get to hear the stories of how, hey, I was able to reach to the top shelf at home. And to me, that is a beautiful, beautiful thing that we can now accomplish through the use of VR. I'm very blessed to be here and having access to this equipment and to be able to use the programs that 
they've created here, they've helped me tremendously. When we see these patients immersed in the virtual world, they're having so much fun, they're motivated to do therapy, and they forget the bias of the diagnosis in the real world, and that's what keeps us going. And our mission is to bring down the cost of therapy, make it more efficient, and as a company, our future goal is to bring this therapy home so that anybody, regardless of the socioeconomic background, has access to therapy and they can recover to a point they can lead a happy and independent life. To learn more about virtual reality therapy, please visit neurorehabvr.com, email us or call the number on your screen.